Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. And apparently I'm not very good at following directions. So let's double check what that elder said. Shall we? Yeah, I know I could just go back and look at the video footage, but... Oh well, we're back to the quaint little minish village. And wrong house, I think. I already forgot where exactly he is. Here we go. The Earth Element can be found in the Shrine to the North of Festari's Abbey, okay. And we're supposed to speak with Festari. Yeah, that was the part I missed. And we mustn't forget to return to him after finding the Earth Element. I guess I had to go in here anyway to talk to Festari, so... He is here. Alright, Mr. Festari, what can you tell me? You wish to go to the shrine? Very well, this way. Wild beasts have settled in recently. Be careful, it is quite dangerous. But I have a sword. Oh, whoops. I'm guessing you should be able to go over there eventually as well, but this is presumably where I'm supposed to go. Nothing there, right? Okay, I didn't see anything else. Oh, no. So, I guess we're just going in the shrine. Deep wood shrine. So this would be the deep wood shrine the Minish Elder spoke of. He said something about there being monsters inside, didn't he? Yeah, I caught that part. Hey, hey now, no reason to be afraid or anything. I'll be waiting, waiting right here. No, wait, what am I saying? I'm not letting you leave me alone out here! But you're my cute little duck hat. You got a heart. You please replenish your life energy a bit. Yeah, I know. Hmm, spider web. I can't slash that. I should be able to slash that away with my sword, but apparently not. Oh, I, and apparently now that we're in dungeon, it also displays how many keys we have. Can I move this? It would seem so. slugs, and they take two hits, but they're slow, because, well, they're slugs. Oh, no, it's after me! Run! That said, I'm sure I'll get myself hit by one of these at least once. Okay, do you want me to... I'm just supposed to step on... <laughs> There's a locked door here. See if you can find a key to open it. Is it like the first Zelda where the monsters drop keys, or do I have to light those? Uh, nope. There's our key. You got a small key. Use it to open locked doors and blocks. You can use it only in this dungeon. Locked blocks? And naturally, it gets used up as soon as we use it for anything. Can I attack enemies with... Whoa. Uh, that was called the wrong button. I told you I'd get hit by one of those things eventually. Can you attack slugs with, or enemies in general, with pots and stuff? Well, I guess I'll find out later. You see that lever? I think you should be able to pull it. Just stand in front of it and press R, then press down to pull. I think I could have figured that out, but okay. Now I can go across and get a mushroom. Will this make me grow double size? Actually, wait a minute. I'm guessing that... whoops. No, we don't want to go swimming. Okay, well you can't push those. I'm guessing that bounces you. Interesting. I see how that works. Smash the pots for gems and hearts and whatnot. Ah, that was my opportunity to see if you could kill those things with the pots. Ah, oh, there ought to be more. It's Zelda. We'll come across some more pots eventually. And is that a mushroom? I don't know, but it's farting on me, and I don't like that. And let's leave it alone, because it seems to be either invincible or have a heck of a lot of HP, so... Am I supposed to go up here? Wow, look at the size of that barrel! 
<laughs> oh, right, right, how silly of me, it's not big, we're just small. What was your first clue? Well, what exactly that did, I'm not sure, but... And nothing over here. Can I fall there? Apparently not. Let's go in the barrel. Oh hey, it even has like a cylindrical shape mechanics. And more mushrooms that fart. Am I supposed to stand here? No? Okay. And we have two switches and we can push a switch onto one of them. Reminds me of Lufia 2. Of course, most for most people, Lufia 2 would probably remind them of Zelda, not the other way around, but... Well, at least the parts where you're actually solving puzzles and stuff. I mean, it is a turn-based RPG. What? Hey, be careful, my lad. The barrel just moved. And now I'm guessing we're supposed to roll it. Roll, baby, roll. Okay, am I supposed to keep rolling this thing? I'm guessing I want it in a specific position. And I believe that was it. if these guys like swords, okay. Oh, I guess I didn't notice. The ground covered with spores. You walk slower in. Again, that looks like you should be able to push it, but you can't. How far back can you pull these things? Well, I guess if it snaps, I can just reset the room. That far. And that flung me up. Whoops, far enough to get whatever this is. You found a dungeon map! Lighter rooms are ones you visited, and you visited, and the blinking one is my location. After down checks different floors, I see. So I am gonna want to go left first, it looks like. Okay, so you can jump off that. Don't want to go for the full fling this time. Can I go out? Okay. Not sure what the purpose of that section yet. Section is yet, but... Um... Whoops! I don't know what triggered that, but... It's a blind run, so I can't really do much about it. What we need now is something to hold down the switch. I don't see anything to hold down a switch. Do you see anything? Oh! How up? Um, actually, did I mess that up? I was trying to put the pot down, not throw it. Is that slug gonna respawn on me? can't just put it down, huh? Maybe if I throw it accurately enough... What's the range of this thing? No? I'm guessing I can't push any of these. Wait a minute, is there something over here I can get? Also, I want that heart container. But I'm guessing I'm going to have to wait until later to get it. Hey, at least I have a dungeon map. If it weren't for the map, Zelda games would be a lot more annoying. Okay, can I... Nope. Maybe if I press a different button, I can just set the thing down instead of throwing it?
Okay, well, I got some rupees out of it that time, but... <laughs> Come on. There's nothing else in the room. Okay, R is obviously throw. But B is throw and A is throw. So what the heck button am I supposed to press to set it down lightly, huh? Thanks for nothing, you useless duck hat! I already knew that, I'm in the freaking temple! Okay, can I... I can't even carry things from room to room, so... I don't suppose I could, like, dash across before... Well, I guess Ezlo did specifically say I need to hold down the switch, but... If you can't just set down the... Okay, maybe... Uh, that, no. No, that's not what's supposed to happen. Uh, give me a minute here. I'll be back in a bit. Okay, apparently you can actually push pots. I don't know why I didn't think of trying that, but... I had to look that up. I don't remember anything ever saying that you could push them. So... Once you take hold of something with R, use that to push your bullet. Wait, I forgot. What am I supposed to be doing again? Yeah, I remember. And there's a treasure chest that apparently we can't get to right now. Is it like Zelda 1 where I have to bomb my way through the walls? Well, in any case, it's looking like it's time to move to the next... Wait a minute. Am I stuck? Wait! Oh, now it moved! Why didn't it move before? Event flags, maybe? Actually, I want to go all the way this time, don't I? Yes, I do. I, you can push these things. I know that now. I guess. Okay, yeah, I do want to go this way. But how? Did I mention I kind of suck at Zelda games? Okay, I have not been to that top room yet, so let's get back in the barrel. Locked door over to the right here, and this door is not locked, so I should be able to enter it, but... Maybe not. Maybe I actually am supposed to kill these mushroom things? I certainly can't get through the locked door. Pardon my silence, I just don't really have much to say, I guess. forgot what was in that chest. And yeah, Ezlo's no help. Okay, well I guess it's either that room or nothing. And if it's this room or nothing, it's this room or nothing. 
Wait, can I move these aside and... Maybe if I put that one there... No? I don't suppose I can grab the statue. Oh, hey, I can! That can change things. I'm used to pushing puzzles. I'm not used to actually being able to pull things. Come on. Aha! There we go. And I know just where to use that. Assuming I can actually move in the correct direction. dedicated dash button in this game. The Game Boy Advance doesn't have enough buttons. There we go. On to the next room. And what am I looking at here? I could go around or I could... Let's see if I can actually get that heart tank yet. Eh, it doesn't seem so. I'm forgetting it. Use R to pick up, not. Well, there's another one. Whoa! Wild mushrooms appear. Hmm. Oh, hey! Insta kill. I wonder if there'll be a puzzle in this game that makes you do that. Of course, I can... Assuming I can aim properly. Silly me, I need a key. I just made a rhyme. Is this a... Well, that looks like either a boss or a sub-boss, but I don't have any way to get through spider webs yet, so... So that's where that door comes out. And the top one's locked. So I guess I'm going back the other way. Yeah, I know you're coming. You can act at least I can actually attack these things. The sword, in any case. Oh, hey, Rupee. Let's see if I can go through... Actually, I can't get back up there, so... I guess it's this way or nothing. Can I pull these? Ah, oh, there's no action icon, so... Oh, but I can push them. Okay. And we got the compass! Find hidden items, press start and L or R. How hidden are we talking here? Yes, now I know you can push those things. I'm guessing I can just get rid of the rest of them. And if not, well, I can respawn the room. Okay, that's the wrong side. Now there's a puzzler. I suspect there's not much more we can do here right now. Let's press on. Perhaps we can work this from another angle later on. Okay then, let's do that. But now how do I get back up to that part? Can I do anything to those flames? And there's the mushrooms. Already went down here, but... I guess I can just go back around like this. That door won't open, and I don't need to go back up there. But I can fling myself across the water. Like a graceful swan in a trebuchet.
Swim, you fool, swim. Come on, you're minished sized. It should be easy. Slug attack. I don't like slugs. In real life, at least. In video games, I haven't encountered them too often, but... And it looks like we're gonna need to pull some stuff. Actually, wait a minute. I can't pull... yeah. Okay, can I... And un... Let's go one more just to be safe. There we go. 